All right, so today we're gonna to be looking at the Barista Pro, which is made by Breville. And we're pretty big fans of the Barista line as we have the Express that we've been using for many, many years. And finally deciding to upgrade to this machine for one reason, which is the heat up time is very quick on this Pro version. So this is the box it comes in, it's really nice. There's a large picture here that shows what the machine looks like. The one we got is actually blue, but let's go ahead and move to one of the sides. So here we have a nice picture of some coffee cups and there are handles in the box. Going to the back, we have a lot more information. So on the display interface, you can set your grind settings, precision conical burls, automatic grind and dose, and then the highlight of this machine, which is the Thermojet heating system. Here's a little picture of all the accessory parts that comes with the machine. And over here, we have some useful information like the doses, which is 18 to 22 grams, the pressure of nine bar, precise temperature of 200 Fahrenheit or 93C, and also the steam vapor of 266, which is 130C for frost milk so yeah and on the other side we had some nice pictures here some of the features that this machine has so let's go ahead and lay this thing down and here on the top we can see that little sticker that shows us that it is the damson blue color so yeah let's go ahead and open this thing up kind of upside down but we can see this is what's on top so we got the quick start guide and also the actual manual. So you might wanna go over the quick start guide, especially if it's your first time using a Breville machine. And you guys can see how everything is packed very well. So we got the Potter filter with the dosing basket that's clipped inside. So this is the one that's already in there. And yeah, this thing is quite heavy duty and very nice quality. Got a machine finish here. And the basket size is 54 millimeters. So not the standard commercial size, but you know, for home use, this is still really good. So here we have our filter for the water filtration. I will install this a little bit later. The tamper, so this is a pretty normal looking tamper and it does magnetize into the machine, which is nice. We got our cleaning kit, which consists of this little rubber cap, a couple cleaning tablets, a brush, and like a little needle to clean out the portholes. Here we have what's called the razor and this is a pretty nicely presented little leveling card that's aluminum it's actually quite nice and when you put your coffee grinds in here you use it to kind of like level it out the dose so we normally don't use this but if you want to get technical with your dosing and stuff you can utilize this razor last one here is going to include our different filters that are available a double shot single one and then another double and single and these are for fresh ground coffee and the other ones are for pre-ground coffee so the pre-ground are going to have the ends that look like this and the fresh ones are like that we kind of do things opposite we use the dual wall for our freshly ground and for some reason that tastes better for us but you know you can obviously use whatever you want all right so now we just need to dump this whole thing over and raise the box up and we're gonna lay it down on one of the sides. And you guys can see it's all enclosed in this foam, very nicely packed. So we're just gonna pull one of the sides off and you guys can kind of see the machine here. It's all wrapped in plastic bag. We got the hopper here, very nice. And it is clear. Pull the cord off and we're gonna flip this thing back over so we can pull the machine out of the other side. So we got another box here, and that's our frothing cup. And it is stainless steel, which also has a packet of the scaler inside. And there's instructions on the back on how to use this. And it does have a min and max here. Very good quality accessory. All right, so let's go ahead and unwrap this machine. So it's very well packed and wrapped everywhere. And wow, just initially here, this blue looks really nice. It's like a really dark, deep blue and kind of has like a little depth to it as it has some kind of sparkle in, in the color itself. But at the same time, it is also matte. So yeah, it's a really nice finish. I really like it. I was a little worried that it might be too bright, but it's more on the darker side, which I really like. So yeah, the back side here, you guys can probably see is very nice. It's completely like a mirror finished metal. Very interesting retro kind of looking design with the curve. Kind of reminds me of 50 60 vibe a good one and we got this really nice chrome piece here that also kind of completes the look so let's go ahead and take off all these stickers and protecting sheets and yeah again everything is nice and polished and looks very good and our basket underneath that collects the wastewater and the purge and things like that it's quite large and also has a little floater here that comes up when the gets full that says empty me 
and this piece just sits on top like that and it's really easy to grab this and clean it out and bring it back and then behind that we actually have a little storage cubby that kind of goes underneath the machine and that's good for putting your extra accessories like the filters in here and even the blade or the razor and technically if we wanted to you could put this whole cleaning kit in here which does fit or better yet you can just take the cleaning kit out and set it in there piece by piece very interesting little brush here and our tablets and that way it all fits easily in here yeah this is a really nice little storage that kind of tucks underneath and on the back here you guys can see there's like a little hook or like a little grabbing point and there's a lip here that it grabs to and so when you install it it kind of drags it out and at the end there's little bumps here that make this raise and disconnect from this as you're pulling it so it's a quite clever design and very convenient little storage in the back so let's flip this thing around and actually i need to grab the piece of tape here and on the other side so on the back of the machine we can see we got the same kind of chrome line going around looks very premium here we have the cable that's coming out the center and it is kind of like a flat cable and i think the reason it's flat is it might be able to retract in there we'll see here in a second let's go ahead and take this tape off here on top and this is our water basket and what i noticed for this pro model is that these are clear because on the express model they're actually darkened which I kind of liked, but I guess the clear kind of makes you see through it a little better. So yeah, maybe a nicer look once we have water in there. And yeah, it's got a, like a nice little handle with the door built in. All the instructions here for the filtration system. We got a little floater here that interacts with the back for a sensor. Yeah, pretty much just a nice holder. So let's go ahead and see what's underneath. So we do have rubber feet on each corner and then these little shapes here so it's quite grippy and they're squishy so it should sit very nicely on the counter and here we have the manufacturing sticker and that's about it now i thought this cord goes in into the machine but i don't think it pulls it in itself i think you have to push it in manually and yeah that's what it looks like so it is going in there this is actually kind of nice because you can get rid of the cord you don't need or the length of it and only keep what you need and even for storage you can make it really short and just like that so it's like a little thing sticking out so yeah pretty nice let's go ahead and put our filter to the water container and so it's going to come with these pieces here so the actual filter is in this bag which is this cotton looking fabric thing and all you got to do is just set it in there like that and then this cover goes on top and you guys can see where it clicks in so pretty simple and then this goes into the container and right here you can set the date or the month i guess 1 through 12 so we're on 12 right now i'll leave it on 12 and as you use the machine you can kind of see where you were when you first started and replace it according to the recommendations and this simply just goes into the basket and then clicks around there just kind of push it down and that's pretty much it so and when you're ready to pull it out you just kind of pull it and before you use it you might want to soak this in water for like 30 minutes or so if you're kind of paranoid about you know getting contamination but yeah ideally we would want to rinse everything off and run the system through a few times before we actually use it all right so yeah overall a very nice machine and all the parts are very high quality all right, so this is what the Barista Pro looks like. So it's a very attractive machine and looks really good on the table here. And I definitely like this blue color. It's quite muted and looks very good. So here on the top, I got the froth cup up here because it seems like a good place to keep it. But going here to the hopper, I don't have it installed yet. And we can see what's below that, which is the grinder. And this one here is adjustable. And maybe you guys can see there's like this little handle that you can pull out and then you spin it counterclockwise and it unlocks the whole metal grind part. So yeah, and you guys can see the conical grinder inside. So I'm just gonna line up the red dot with the align, twist it until it locks, kind of clicks and then points at the lock. So yeah, simple as that. And then the hopper goes on top and it kind of falls in in the correct spot. Go ahead and take this lid off. And what you gotta do is you gotta turn this to lock it. So that right there locks it and it's not gonna come out. So to take it out, you have to unlock it and then pull it out. And this is cool because it doesn't let the beans just fall out. Because when you unlock it, it closes the port for the beans to stop falling out. So if we click it to unlock, you can kind of see how it opens the door. Yeah, pretty good design if you, you know, need to get in there to adjust without pulling all your beans out. But yeah, simple as that. Then we have a cover here. Nice little rubber gasket. 
that seals the whole thing where the beans can stay fresh. All right, so let's look at here on the front. So we got this display and there is a little protective layer on top. So to be honest, I don't really like these kind of displays. I'd rather have just analog kind of functions, but for this one, it's fine because it does let you adjust certain things in the display, which makes it a little better to use than all analog where you kind of have to know what to push here you actually see. So, and we'll look at that here in a little bit. But yeah, we got the display, we got the Breville logo here, we got double shot, single shot, and these are programmable. And then we got a selector knob here that adjusts our amount and also filter size, and it does also click. And then a small button for menu and exit. And the large button over here is for the power. So to the left side, this is going to be adjusting our grind size to finer or coarser. And on the other side is our switch for the steam or the water. So this does put out hot water or steam through this wand for frothing milk. So going down, we can see here, we got the tamper that goes into the side and it magnetizes, very nice. This is where our grind comes out and there's a button here that this pushes on. If you push it once like this, it automatically grinds. And if you hold it, it manually grinds and then you let it go, it stops. So yeah, pretty nice little port. And yeah, this is where the beans will fall out. And beside that, you guys can see this is where the water comes out the hot water and then we got the actual coffee pressure there on this side here and beside that we got the wand here that swivels you guys can see very nicely it's actually quite easy to operate and it is double chambered maybe we can see or not but it's got four little holes and so this is nice because it doesn't get too hot on the outside because it's got two walls and it's a little easier to clean too because of that but you could still kind of use it the same way as a normal one and actually even better because it has the four holes so yeah it should be stronger too for this pro model. So on the back, you guys can see the reflection. It's quite reflective. It's almost pretty much like a mirror. So, and the basket here, you guys saw, it's made out of a few pieces here. That's really easy to pull out. And we've got our little storage back there that comes out with it. And this part also comes apart. Yeah, everything is quite easy to wash. And you wanna make sure you clean this area out quite frequently, as if you don't, you'll start to get like slime and stuff growing under there, so. Very nice detail here. And below we have the color of that blue, very nice. Then our chrome strip here with some feet on each side. And yeah, it looks pretty clean here, going to the right. And the same thing on the left side. All right, so we're now looking from the back and yeah, it looks even really nice back here. We got the water container on the top with this handle. And you can just raise it like that and then fill it up and put it back on the machine. So the water gets filtered and then comes out into the machine right here. And below that, we got the power cord, which tucks inside and you can pull out more or less. It doesn't retract by itself. You just kind of have to push it in. But that's a nice feature as you can have the cord as long as you need it. And it's not a, you know, long messy cord just laying around. So yeah, very clean. Got the same chrome ring going all the way around with these nice rubber feet on the bottom. Yeah, very clean and nice looking machine. All right guys, so I filled this thing up while I rinsed it out and filled it up, sat for about 10 minutes, then I drained it and filled it again. So the filter should be pretty clean and everything's kind of rinsed out. So yeah, now we're gonna set it here on the machine. And the water should be going inside. And I'm gonna pull out the cord I need to plug it in. So let's go ahead and push the power button. And look at that, it powers on. And you guys can't see this, but it's actually flashing flush, like flush out the system. Maybe at this angle and a little bit darker, you guys maybe hopefully can see it says flush there flashing. So this little button here is lit up. Now I'm gonna leave this on, so it kind of rinses it out also with hot water. So let's go ahead and click that. And there it goes. And we can see hot water coming out the other end there. So it's still in process. And you got a little count down there. Maybe you guys can see a little better. There, so yeah, it's doing its thing. All right, and it's finished. All right, so I adjusted the lighting a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see the display. In real life, it's actually quite easy to see, but kind of hard to pull it into the camera with the overall lighting, but it's very readable and quite good. Yeah, pretty much at this stage, you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and put some beans in here. I'm gonna move this cup down for now. And so the coffee that we use is actually from Hawaii, and that's actually called Kauai Coffee. It's a medium roast, and we've been drinking this coffee for many years. So let's go ahead and put some in the hopper. Fill it up nicely here and put the lid on. 
and that'll keep it fresh. And so the settings straight out of the box are 15 grind on the size and 13 seconds amount. So yeah, we're gonna have to figure this out. As probably some of you are, you're more meticulous about, you know, how much is what and what is the timing, the durations and things like that. I'm not so picky about that stuff. Once I get it close to dialed in to what we like, we just use the same settings. And the great part here is because we have a display here, if we turn this knob, we can see we can change the grind size and it kind of electronically shows us what it is. It's a manual kind of movement here. I can feel it's pretty stiff, but it's electronically also presented on the screen. So I have a feeling that we need to go to lower grind size. I think before we used to be about 13 to 12. So let's just start with 13. And I'm not too sure about the amount on the seconds. Now it does say double grind there. And if we click on here, it goes to single. So you can see it's 13 for the double and nine and a half for the single. Let's go ahead and get this basket out and this is the one we use on our other machine which is the double walled single and there's some water in here so we're going to click this one out which is the single wall double and we'll clip our new one on so yeah simple as that and I'm going to go ahead and run it with no beans again to kind of clean it out we'll do a double shot here so it's pre-infusing and there you go so it took three seconds and it goes so it's really quick and that has to do something with that thermal jet heating system all right so that was a 20 second run for the single grind so let's go ahead and wipe this down it's nice and dry and it's hot grind our beans so we're just gonna put it in there and click it once so if you hold it in there on that button that you push once you push it in there it's gonna manually grind so whenever you let it go it's gonna stop but if you push it once and let go it's gonna automatically grind nine and a half seconds of the grind size of 13 so let's do that And this is what we got. And in the beginning, it wasn't going, so it's definitely not enough. So then we're going to grab a little tamper and tamp it down. And it's definitely not even close to enough. So I'm going to run it manual a little more. So we're going to check that. So this is definitely the wrong way to do it. And we'll do it the right way in a second. This is all kind of like a guessing game at this point. But we're just kind of going through the... Uh, functions here so once you get it all nice and flat in there you can put it and I'm gonna use this clear glass so we can see a little better and since we have this single we're gonna push on this button here which shows one cup and that should give us our coffee and you guys probably can't see very well but there it goes And that actually was quite short. I'm gonna run that thing again. And just by looking at the coffee, I can tell that it's definitely off and not the correct anything, so. Yeah, this part will take some adjustment, especially every new machine has its own kind of quirks, so. And the grind size slash the amount, the timing and things like that. So yeah, and I'll go through that in a little bit to kind of somewhat preset it and then you kind of go off the taste of what you like. But in any case, we got our coffee here which looks really good. There's a lot of oils that were extracted and that's like that more foamy stuff out of the beans. So that's nice to see. So for the next part, let's go ahead and steam our milk. And I'm gonna switch this to the steamer, which is to the front. And we're gonna see how quick this thing starts up. And look at that, it's almost immediate to kind of clean it out. We're gonna grab some milk here and pour it to around this area. So that looks good. I'm gonna stop it for a second, put it in the milk, and restart it. And it almost starts right away. And you guys can't see this, but if you keep it just right above the milk, just a tiny bit, you can get a nice foam. And I can definitely tell this is much more powerful than the express machine that we have. So yeah, it's definitely quicker and faster. And you want to feel the whole cup once it starts getting pretty warm. That feels about right right there. You want to stop it. You don't want to overheat the milk. 
and we can go ahead and wipe this down and it wipes out pretty good but it's probably good to have something moisty as it is still hot but also being double walled it is a little cooler than normal so easier to wipe and now we can pour our milk in the coffee however much you like and, and this is what we get a nice cup of coffee so this is probably you know a very bad example of how to make one but again you know you do adjust it to your likings and your tastes and so let's go into a little more detail and actually weight out our grind and also the shot amount so you can see a little better how you can fine tune it which is simple as using a little scale all right, so I kind of zoomed out here so we can see a little bit of everything. And I switched the filter to the single wall, double shot. And I got the little scales here. So the hard part is figuring out the grind amount and then obviously for how long. So, you know, you're gonna have to make quite a few of these by the time you dial it in. But if you have a scale, it kind of helps you out tremendously. So I'm gonna turn it on and I don't know if you guys can see or not, but it says zero, zero. And I am on ounces, which we need to go on grams. So what we're trying to do is get to around 18 grams to 20 max. So let's go ahead and grind on our 13 size. And we're gonna click on this to the double, which is 13 seconds. Let's see how much that is. All right. And so, yeah, we're kind of spilling a little bit. It does feel a little bit on the finer side. Let's set it on the scales. Actually, guys, I totally forgot to tear this thing. So, so yeah, I, I guess I'm gonna have to restart. So let's just go ahead and dump this here. Totally forgot that we need to weigh this first. So it weighs 444 grams, actually. So now we're gonna tear it by clicking this button here, which zeroes it out. So basically, it's zero with this on here. So whatever we put in here, that's what it'll measure. So now we can go ahead and grind that again. Yeah, let's measure that. So that's 15 grams. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm sure the angle's good or not, but yeah, it's 14, 15 grams, and we need to have 18. So we need a little more, but we're not too sure about our grind size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tamp this down, and you see the silver part? It's supposed to be lined up with the top, and we're a little bit below. So we're really close to where we need to be, but I think we need to up our grind size just a little bit, I think, but I'm not sure. So let's add manually just a little by clicking and letting go. So let's see if we get to that 18 grams. Okay, we're at 17. So we need only a tiny bit more. That should be 18. Yeah, it's jumping, but I'm gonna add just a little more. That's pretty close, it's still 17. But you guys can see that we had 13 seconds, but we need probably about 14 maybe or so. And if we tamp this down, what we have in here, we're pretty close also to that metal ring being at the top, but I think we're a little fine. It feels, at least to me, that it's a little fine. So the whole point is here, guys, is that you wanna get as close as possible to 18, maybe, you know, somewhere around there. I would say 18 is good, even 17 is fine. And at the same time, once you tamp it down, you wanna want that silver ring to be below the top, which is it is by a tiny bit. So I'm thinking we need to put our grind size to 14, and then about 14 seconds of flow. And then next time we make coffee, we can adjust it again. So again, you're gonna have to fine tune it, but this is actually pretty close right here. And so when you do get it close, you're gonna you know, have all this set and you're gonna dump your coffee and then tamp it and measure it and it's gonna be pretty much perfect every time. And that's when you set it and then you can put the scale away completely and pretty much never use it unless you, know, you wanna adjust some more later. So playing with the grind size slash the time that it dumps it out, is the key to getting the perfect amount. Now the next part is the shot itself. And so for the shot, depending on you know how you like it, the standard is the double amount of the grams of coffee is the grams of liquid you want. So about 40 grams or so into the cup. Some people like it more, some people like it less. We personally like it more watery, but you know, depends on who you are and how you like it. But yeah, we're basically gonna do the same thing here. And I'm gonna set the scale right in the machine with the cup on it. And then we're gonna tear that to zero. I got you guys a little closer, hopefully you can see. But if we click on menu, here you guys can see we have some adjustments we can make. So right now we're on custom one, which is this one. So let's go to custom two. So we're gonna scroll this wheel to the other one. And then we're gonna click enter. And we'll click on that. And we can see here that we got a timer. So it is pre-infusing and that took about seven seconds or so, or actually 10. And there it goes. And we can see our coffee looks so much more better, or the shot. So we got 30 grams almost, getting close. All right, that should be good. And look at that, 
39 40 so that should be the perfect shot except all the issues is that I wasn't looking at the screen here so I didn't see the time but I'm sure it's in the video and I'll be able to see it so whatever that time was that it took to get to this is theoretically the perfect shot and you can kind of adjust it from that as you continue to kind of fine-tune it on the grind the amounts the size and slash the timing that it extracts but yeah hopefully this made a little bit of sense and having a little scale like this is quite useful to fine-tune to the tastes you like and actually guys the more important part here is what I didn't show you is that once you go to the menu and you select the cups you want to custom so it's button one or two once we click this it should go to 25 seconds and stop so let's test that out Oh, it kind of went to 26, but let's program the first one. We'll just say some short amount of like 15 seconds or something. And there we go. So now when we do it, it should go to 15. And there it goes. It's actually 14. So it's not completely exactly where you stopped it, but it's really close. So yeah, you can adjust that more or less depending on, you know, what you need. So in the menu, we also have hotter and cooler temperature here for the water itself. You know, unless you really know what you're doing, you want to leave that right in the middle. Should be fine. And then you got other options here where we have the flush, which we did right in the beginning, and then the descale. And we got reset to default, which resets everything back to how it was. So yeah, again, pretty intuitive and actually pretty nice to have this little screen here that shows you all the details. And again, it looks a lot nicer in person than it does on camera as the backlight there kind of seems blown out a bit. But in real life, it's actually quite clear and easy to see. So to get out, we'll just click menu and we'll go back to our main menu where we can have the two programmed shots here. So yeah, guys, it's a pretty nice machine that's quite premium looking and feeling. And one of the best parts for us is going to be that three second quick startup. So by the time you grind your beans, the machine's ready to go. So if you like quick and don't like waiting around, this thing is great for that. I love the storage in the back, very useful keep everything tidy. The display is nicer than it looks on video and very intuitive with everything. I wish there was a pressure gauge because you can't tell how much bar you're pushing. The knob here to select from steam to water is not very hard to operate. And by the way, we didn't check the water yet, but you guys can see it there. So yeah, that's basically boiling water. The tamper here lives on the side nice and neat and our grind selector here so yeah everything is very high quality to the touch and feel as far as an overall system goes with the grinder and the extraction it's quite a bargain of what you get as a package so these are a little more than the express but the prices have come down quite a bit lately here so if you can afford this one i would recommend it over the express which is a nice machine and we've been using it for years and it's very reliable and durable but we expect the same performance out of this thing but with the extra features and conditions conveniences that it has and I definitely like the overall look of this one as it does look more retro so if you're getting into espresso and you want to make it at home this is a great way to do it or maybe you want to make a gift for someone which this would be an amazing thing to receive in any case I'll leave some links in the description where you can get one so check it out and if you did enjoy this video then hit that like button and if you do enjoy videos like this I do a lot of interesting things on this channel so stay tuned and as always thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one peace